question. Are you watching Geeks Assemble? Hello there. Yes, we are Geeks Assembled and me and Susan have gathered here once again to talk about one of my favourite shows, Once Upon a Time. Now we're going to talk about episodes three, no we're not, four, we're going to talk about episodes four till six. We've done three, it's four till six. So uh, what does Susan, what should we st we'll start off with number four. What would you say about number four, Susan? All right. Uh, episode four was the um, it was the 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 story of uh, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde, and it was the the Rumpelstiltskin uh, infusion into his life, and it was called wasn't it called a strange case? Yeah, strange case. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was, um, you know, he's, he, Hyde is selfish, and, uh, but Hyde turns out to be the, the hero, uh, and they, they, they turn out not to be able to, to kill Hyde just by doing something, they need, you know, Jekyll's got to go. If, yeah, Jekyll's got to yeah. So that, because they're separated, they, they've been, pull, Hyde has been pulled out of Jekyll, just like uh, just Regina, like Regina or, or the evil queen has been pulled out of Regina, and so there's a there's a parallel story story there, except for um, uh, Hyde becomes um, willing to anyway. So that's kind of interesting and. And I like I like how Rumpelstiltskin, you know, our 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 number one baddie. No, you, yeah, you're, yeah. Really, you're really a Regina guy, aren't you? So yeah, I lo I love Regina. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm Regina so, all the way, and the Evil Queen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love Rumpelstiltskin. You know, I love Robert Carlyle, but for me, the Evil Queen. Yeah, is the number one. All yeah. right. So anyway, <laughs> it was it was pretty. Uh, it was it was pretty cool watching uh, Rumple get in there and 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 try and twist the thing and yeah, because he created. Now I'm just remembering it now. He created Hyde, didn't he? Do you, do you remember? He he yeah. was the one who created Hyde. Yes, pretty much. He he did the yeah magic. yeah yeah. He was the one that that created Hyde, and I thought that was that was really interesting. This is also the one where um, obviously Mr. Gold. Has his hair cut, isn't it? This is the yep. yeah. This is the one where ah! Mr. yeah. What? He has his hair cut. Where did the yeah. floof go? <laughs> it's oh. all gone. He shaved it all off. Now he's uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, and, and for, for, for winter Robert as well to do, to do train spotting too, right? Yes, yeah, for train spotting too. Yeah, yeah. But I thought this was a a really good one. This was a really good episode, actually. Um, because I didn't see um, uh, Jekyll killing that woman because he pushed her out the window, didn't he? Yeah. And then, and then he goes, and then at the end, he goes for Bell. Yeah. You know, he goes for Bell, and then obviously he gets impaled, doesn't he, on the um, on a part of the ship, wasn't it, or something yeah. like that? Yeah. And uh, then they both die, and I wasn't expecting them to both die because. They've been. I thought they were going to stay longer. Yeah, that's not the. Yeah, thing. I thought they were going to stay longer. So that was supposed. Uh, you know what I was thinking was that it was going to be like the first half of the se se season, 
12 yeah. episodes, right? Or, or yeah, that's, that's exactly, yeah. exactly what I thought, that it would be, they'd be in it for the first half. They kill off characters so easily. Yeah, I, I don't know what I don't know why they killed him off. Maybe it was because the actors couldn't do more than a certain amount of episodes because of commitment to other yeah. shows. Yeah. That could be the case. But it it it, it does in a way th this it puts into our minds what's going to happen to the evil queen. Yep. Because the evil queen then can't die unless Regina dies. Yep. That's right. You know, so that that's interesting. So so they can't kill off the, the bad part without killing off all of it. Yeah. And and unless unless what I think is probably gonna happen, because I can't see them killing the two characters off. I think they're going to merge the two back together. Yep. I think they're going to merge the two back together because they are such, they're such main characters. You know, you can't kill Virginia off. She's such a main character in the show. Yep. You know, it's like you can't kill Emma Swan because yeah. they're, main, they're main characters, you know. And they're Henry's moms. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And they're, they're, they they're, can't, they're, Susan, I couldn't deal with it. So I could not be able to break down if they kill. <laughs> they're the turning points of the show, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're the center point. They're the two main characters. Yeah. So, you know. um, so they won't do it. No, they, they won't do it. They'll just merge back into, into, one, into one person, yeah. Yeah, so maybe that's why, why there was just this little short four-episode or five episodes with the, the beginning of last year, season or the end of last year, season. Um, it, maybe there, there's that's the reason for the short story arc is to to set up the remerging. You know, at some point. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. Yeah, I think right. Yeah. Ca no, right. carry on. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a, a long season uh with uh with them separated anyway yeah so uh what would you give the episode three the the jekyll and hyde finish? that that number four yeah yeah that number four yeah one. um God. i i think do you know it was really good i really enjoyed it i liked the fact that it was concentrating on Jekyll and Hyde because we hadn't seen much of Jekyll or Hyde really especially Jekyll we saw more of we've seen more of Hyde than we've seen of Jekyll so it was nice to have a backstory and of course Rumpelstiltskin he was involved in it you know and he created Hyde really he created Hyde and so do you know what I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a 9.5. I thought it was excellent. I thought it was right. a really good, good story. Yeah. What yeah, would you give I'm it? going to give it a 9 out of 10. It, yeah, it wasn't, it, it wasn't the, the end for those characters that I thought, but yeah, let's, yeah. Okay. So, so then, so go ahead and let's move on. Yeah, episode five is Street Rats. Now, this is the one um, based around Aladdin and Jasmine uh, with Jafar and Agrabah. Yeah. And this is, this is the one where the Shias are introduced. Now, that's very interesting. The yeah. Shias. Yeah. Little, little pretty golden scissors that they are. Yeah. And... Uh... So what what exactly do the sh shoes do? They cut they, they cut the um they they cut the um the savior out of the person. They don't kill the person. Yeah. They just cut the savior out of them, so they're no longer a savior. Huh. So if Emma used them, because Aladdin used them, didn't he? He said at the end of the episode that he he had used them because he 
they, they kind of tricked us into thinking he had died. Yeah. But he'd actually used the scissors to cut the saviour from him, to cut the saviour from himself. Yeah. So if Emma does that, if Emma uses those shears, she will no longer be the saviour. Yeah. Um, Which I don't think she will. <laughs> no. No. And wasn't wasn't the uh, wasn't this the episode where Zelina, the <clears throat> the wicked witch, turns uh, what's his name, Archie, Doctor Archie, into the oh cricket. cricket. Yeah, yeah. This and it's the one where they also um, went to have their nails done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not seeing enough of Zelina. I yeah, don't think. that's why I dressed as her today. Yeah, we're not seeing it. We're not seeing enough of her. We need to see more of her. She's a great character. She is, and she's got, she's got, uh, she, she's really. It's really fun watching her and and Robert Carlyle, you know, bounce off of each other. I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The the fun thing is, uh, uh, Bex Mater, Rebecca Mater plays her. Oh, we, oh yeah, cause she uh, yeah, cause she was in Lost as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that. I really like Zelina too. Um, she. And and the fact that she's raising uh, raising the child. Uh, their child from you know she and and Robin Hood Robin yeah yeah like that was crazy you know that the, here they are like leaving the kid for a day and coming back and suddenly you know I was I was like watching watching Zelina to see if she if she bonded with her with her baby properly I was like oh Oh, the baby! Protect the baby and stuff <laughs> from the from the wicked witch and the evil queen. Oh, and but, yeah, no, carry on. I think that that's going to be utilized. Like, like her motherhood is going to be utilized to bring her back to the good side. Yeah, I was just about to ask you that. What side do you think Zelina will pick in the end? Because it's going to be between the evil queen, yeah, and the good side. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's whether will she go along with the evil queen and fight with the evil queen or fight against her? And I think she'll fight against the evil queen. Yeah, I do too. I, I don't yeah. think that she's gonna. I don't think that she's gonna stay uh, sort of deceived or pulled away from that. That because at the moment she's like in the middle, isn't she? You know, in a way. Yeah. She's, yeah. Even even more than than anybody else's, she's really torn. Yeah. A, anymore, I mean, Regina's got got free of her dark side, and you know she still does crazy dark things, but only with good intentions. And so I I yeah. So anyway, Zelina's pretty amazing, and I love. Uh, I, lo I I just I just think that there's going to be sort of a a good story arc for her this 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 year. Yeah, but I just wonder when the story arc for Zelina will actually kick in. In what episode will it will the ball start rolling? Right, right, right. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it might be next. You know, the the second part of this season maybe it might be part b you know yeah because obviously yeah. we're on part one aren't we it could be that they keep a relatively low brow for now yeah. and then in part b she becomes a big character again in the series a big player yeah yeah big player yeah so um so because it's it, it was pretty cool to see the 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 Aladdin story kind of 
pulled out of the um, pulled out of the the animated oh the film yeah movie yeah I thought that that this was great and I I'll give this one a, a nine point five out of ten because yeah and I I tell you what I liked I like I like the person playing Jafar I thought Jafar the person playing him yeah. is is really good is excellent and we haven't seen enough of Jafar either I'm wondering when Jafar is gonna appear in Storybrook yes because yeah. surely that's coming yes that's got to be coming yeah he's got to be coming to story yeah i think myself i would give i'd give this one a nine i think i'd give this one a nine so we kind of swapped round because i gave him one 9.5 and uh, you're giving this one and i'm giving this one a nine <laughs> so we kind of swapped round yeah so now we're on to episode six yes. which was dark waters and uh, this was the one with Nemo, not 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 Nemo from Finding Nemo, but Nemo from uh, Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Yeah, Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Yeah, the Jules Verne story that that was adapted by Disney back in like the fifties. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm glad they went there. Yeah, I am too. I'm so glad they went there. I'm so glad there was a great big giant squid. I'm I I myself love Jules Verne. Jules Verne was the reason for my uh, foray into science fiction. Like all of my science fiction fandom, yeah, is because of Jules Verne. Uh, I was I read his story when I was about. I read 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea when I was about seven, maybe six. Oh, so this was a real treat for you then? Yeah. Yeah. And the movie is, is literally one of my favorites of all time. And so, uh, and the fact that they, they captured the, the ship, the Nautilus, it was just like the movie Nautilus. It wasn't yeah. like one of those, you know, it, it's supposed to be like a nuclear submarine. So when they did the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and Captain Nemo's part of that, the the Nautilus looked like a, a nuclear sub with like a throwback to Ironsides or some something like that. It was it it was a it was a different ship. It was not my Nautilus. Yeah. But the the Disney the Disney Nautilus is my Nautilus. The Disney the Disney squid is my squid. The Oregon everything was beautiful. It was just it was just pretty it was just pretty perfect. And Hook really, you know, went through it, you know, with his brother showing up there and everything. Yeah, Liam. Yeah, Liam. Yeah. And it really it was a um it was a Henry and Hook story, this one. Yeah. This was about Henry and Hook, because obviously Hook kept the Shears, which he shouldn't have done, stupid thing. Um, the evil queen um, went to Henry saying, you can't trust Hook, you know, things like that. And the evil queen's just, uh, she's just brilliant. It's just like, she, she just puts things into people's heads, you know, oh, you can't trust. She's not attacking anyone. She's not attacking anyone. She's make she's tearing them apart by telling them things. You know, like the other week, she told them about Emma's uh, visions. You know, when she pretended to be Archie, and now she's with um, Henry, saying you can't trust Hook. He's not your dad. Things like that. You know, we kept these shears, and. Yeah, the evil queen just is behind, is behind everything. <laughs> yep. Now, like you said, I think this this episode looked really good. I like the ship, as you said, and everything like that. Uh, thought this episode it was quite good. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, s 
so the okay so i i give this one a 10 a 10 wow yeah oh that's good yeah i think i think i would give it uh I'm going to give it a 9.5. I'm going to give it a 9.5 because I, I, I thought it was really good, really good. Um, but I don't think, was it episode two that I really enjoyed? I, I can't remember if it was episode two, but there's been, there's been one better than this. I'll give it a 9.5. But it was, really, it was a really good episode. Um, it was, it was, yeah. Yeah, episode two was definitely all evil queen. It was a bitter draft, and yeah, that was it. Yeah, I'm all like looking at it. Sorry for the delays in 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 responding because I'm just re going through Wait. Wikipedia, reminding myself of everything that went on and stuff. It gets quite confusing, doesn't it? Because I mean, we're on episode uh, seven. Well, you've watched episode seven now. Yeah. Um, I haven't yet because I don't get it until tomorrow here in the UK. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Um, I can't remember what it's about now. What's well, it about? No, no spoilers, but uh, but yeah, it's it's. Got, I watched the I watched the trailer. It's got some flashbacks. It's got some. Uh, Got some... Oh, it's about the evil queen trying to kill Snow White, isn't it? Yeah, the the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Shared Heart or something, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, I think you'll like it, and I think you're gonna, um, and and we should do this again very soon. You know, like another three weeks. What do you say? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, where we can look at episode seven and then eight and then nine, yeah. All right. So we'll, and we'll see how the the series develops. Yeah. You know, maybe we'll have more Zelina, hopefully. Yeah. By then, by the next time we come on. You know, hopefully we'll have more Zelina and uh, equally as much the Evil Queen as well. Because I, I love the Evil Queen. I hope the Evil Queen's in the second part of this season too. Because <laughs> she's just fantastic. So is there any more you'd like to add, Susan? No. Well, I'd like to thank Susan here for joining me. I'd like to thank you for watching. Do tell us what you think about these episodes that we've discussed about Once Upon a Time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this and for more podcasts. And as always, look after yourself. Take care. We'll see you next time. <laughs>